haven't tried to find it so like if anyone's like selling any but september 23rd 2017 you replied to my story saying why do you hate dogs (laughs) where's the lie where's the fucking lie Jokes on you. I was actually that Tumblr, that Tumblr, Tumblr <laughs> anonymous person. Ew. You're like, I like your sweater. And I was like, thanks. I bought it in California because it seemed like something Spencer would like. Hmm. That's disgusting. I'm literally like buying clothes to like impress him. I wonder what sweater it was. <laughs> Did you just show everyone? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> GG. So I guess like before we were DMing a lot, we were already friends. I like his shoes too, Jeremy's. Like collabs. I think he's is it New Balance? I think he has New Balance collabs or something. His little bunny is cute. Oh. I'm really trying with this gesso right now. It's kicking my ass. Ooh. Hey, Beagley. I don't know, in 2018, you asked me what my phone number was. I definitely had your number before then. Unless we only, like, Facebook messengered. I only even know that, like, the my main point of reference was that, like, you broke your phone when I was still living in Philly. And I talked to Spencer about, like, sending money. But, like, you were banned on PayPal, so I was, like, trying to figure out how to send you money for the phone. Hey! Hi, Adrian! How you doing? Thank you for the raid. Hi, hi. Hi, Crab. Hi, Ak. What's up? Hi, Paul. Hi, guys. I'm Skyhook. Uh, I am currently working on a wood piece that I cut out yesterday. I, we're just doing, like, the basic, like, primer level. I don't really know where this is going. I'm very nervous. Hi. Uh, can you do a shouty out? Do you know how to do that? Um, is it just... No, I don't know how to do it. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, I can do this. Oh. Okay, now I know. Cheesy potato pierogies. That sounds so good. I have pierogies in my freezer. <gasps> Forgot about that. Pierogies are so much work, though. Like, why do I gotta boil them and then skillet them? That's so much work. Too many. Too many steps. I told them you were the best in the world. Why are you lying to these poor folk? What did they do to deserve these lies? How was your stream? Just air fry them? Okay. Okay. I'm, like, kind of scared. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of scared of the air fryer. Which, like, is probably an irrational fear. I should put more trust into it. So maybe I'll do that. Hmm. Progies are so good. The one benefit of dating so many Polish boys. (laughs) Give me them progies. Them rogues. 
I was so unsure until I started doing almost everything I could out of it. I'm so hesitant. Like, I make, like, chicken fingers and then, like, french fries. But anything else, I'm like, I don't know what the sorcery is. <laughs> Just fast air. Fast air? Yes, fast hot air. And you want me to think that that's going to cook my shit? It's hot, though. It's hot, fast air. I don't know. Sounds sus. I got trust problems. Your bowling music? I have so many questions. Your bowling mu Okay, one, you bowled. Two, you had bowling music? Was this like headphones? Or like, they played it for you? Also, this is so sexy to be bowling music. You were on a bowling team. What color was your bowling ball? Did you wear little bowling shirts? Oh my god. Was this a high school thing? Or bowling? Is that a high school thing? Is that I what... think it's like a rich high school thing. Oh, I was about to say. I I go. I don't go to a real school. Like, I didn't go to a real school, so I don't know what the fuck's normal. No, I think I knew people who, like, did bowling in school, but it wasn't... It wasn't me. Yeah, this is Queen of the Damned. He has no eye hole. Are you fucking with me? You did not have a... <laughs> you were lying. Stop lying to me. I'm too gullible. Hey. Thanks, Cheddar Bob, for the fucking nine months. We got a baby in this bitch. What's her baby name? Dead ass. De he said dead ass. Dead ass. Dead ass. Hey. I don't believe you, bro. You better fucking lay it on me. Can you go in the... the store? Uh-huh. Uh, get the Akasha painting. Yes. It should be on the bottom of that pile, because I think it's all in alphabetical order. I did an Akasha painting. I'm gonna show you. Aha! Here's, here's her. I did two this year, but this was my second one, and I prefer this one. The other one I sold, so I don't have that physically to show you, but... We love Aaliyah in this home. Beautiful. Thank you. Also, this is my self-portrait I did this year. I have this whole pile of just arts. It's funny, I can't tell how big these are. You think they're bigger? Stream. They seem no, bigger? I thought they were smaller. Oh. Okay, we did, like, Marla. Even when I do this? Yeah. <laughs> I like uh, Around the Fur better than White Pony, but that's just me. I have one, one singular Deftones merch, and it's like a vintage hoodie that I love very much. And I didn't understand the, the how expensive it was until recently, and now I'm like scared to wear it, even though I've already like worn it and gotten paint on it and shit, but. What shirt? I have a Deftones hoodie. It's oh. like the navy one. Mm -hmm. But it's from like 2001 or something like that. Thanks, Crab! I, um... I added... You can't really tell. But I added some black into my... my or Skeller added black to my, uh... Bangs. But it's been like pretty choppy for a bit now. I shaved my head August 2020. I think about it all the time. Will you watch the new interview with the vampire? Skeller can give me the interview with vampire painting I did. The one with the two gay boys. Um, I don't know if I'll watch the new one. Maybe one day. I'm not really like a big movie watcher. So if I have a lot of hesitations, that just makes it even harder. But this is the... 
Interview with the Vampire fan art I did for the letter L. I really like that the... I added a lot of blues to the face. I think this is the best, like, tone... Tonal painting I did. Like, the tones in it are, like, my favorite. Anna and her son had a lot to do with producing. She died last year or this year? When she when she passed away? Who died? Is she on the list of dead people? Anne Rice. She wrote like Queen of the Damned and like uh, horny vampire shit. This year. God, this year's felt like eighty thousand years. I'm going to try to get my bangs cut because I'm obsessed with KJ's hair from Paper Girls. I haven't watched the Amazon. I read the comics. But. Yeah, I haven't watched the Amazon series yet. I really like. That's Brian, right? Brian Vaughn. Brian K. Vaughn wrote that. Because he's also Why the Last Man, right? Yeah, I've read the- I haven't- oof. Big oof. I read the comics, like, a few years ago, so I don't even fully remember. And I don't even think I'm, like, fully caught up on the comics. But I know that I liked it. Is it gay? Um... Is it gay? It's not the Abby thing that just came out. No, that's League of Their Own. Um, it's about, like, little kids. Like, it's about, like, kids in a sci-fi world. So I don't know if you would like it, because it's very sci-fi-y. Very gay. Oh, right, it is gay. Okay. But it's, like, kid gay. So it's like a different level of gay. So it's like like cute gay instead of horny gay. I think. From what I remember, I think. I think I, I remember like watching the trailer and just being like, ah. Because it's like wholesome gay. Yeah, because there's something about like the kid and the cigarettes and the gay. But also not as weird. You don't really like graphic novels, right? No, I wish I did. I'm like, ooh, pretty pictures. <laughs> I hope they never adopt Saga. Saga? I am not caught up on that one. And that makes me sad. But books are so expensive. I'm sure they will, though. Which makes me sad. Nothing is safe. It's Watch With Your Mom Gay? <laughs> Do you have a half-price bookstore there? I do not know. I usually, if I try to buy comics, there's, like, this black-owned comic book shop I've been going to for, like, 10-plus years that I usually try to support if I'm, like, buying books or graphic novels. So I have a place, like, to go that, like, doesn't make me feel bad. It's just, like, I don't ever really sit down and read, so it's really hard for me to, like, I don't know. It's hard for me to, like, be like, all right, Sam, you're actually going to read this. Fucking lost book. Gitz author? Pandora and the Crimson Shell. And that's manga. I love you, too. I hope you're doing good. Damn, I really was like, I 
I'm going to do a giant bison, and now I'm suffering because the shit is... It's not really, like, long fur. It's fucking, like, little tufts, and it's... This is hard. Wah, this is hard. <laughs> Wah. Wait, did you scroll? Are you still scrolling? No. Where did it start? 2017, but we were already, like, mm. friends, obviously. Like, you were already in Canada. Rude. Yeah, it seems like we would have been DMing before then. I don't know how we would have used to talk. What do you used to? That's why I was thinking Messenger, maybe. But I got a new Facebook. Mm. I was trying to scroll the way through Messenger, but we fucking played Draw Something so much. <laughs> but that's all it is. What is our origin story? <laughs> yeah, our first uh, Facebook Messenger is you sending me your cake topper. Ew! Sorry, that was really, really vocal. Um, <laughs> it's mainly you because gender. <laughs> um, do you have a fan brush? It'll be easier with that. Work from the background forward from dark to light. It's easier. Um, I do. I think so. So I'm like... Doing the darker, because that's, like, how my brain's, like, okay, you do, like, the behind first. I don't know if my brain's gonna fucking like the fan, but I will try. As far as bison go, that one is actually rather small. Touche, eccentric, touche. Oh my god, I'm so tangled in wires. This bullshit. God, my nose. It smells so bad. I think I'll do this with what I was doing so that it's not all the same. So this brush is like very like fingers and not actually fanned. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> fingers. <laughs> Can you describe well, okay, so I got a new septum ring. And I think it's a bit, like, it didn't, like, feel like it really stretched when she put it in. But I do think that it's bigger than the last size I had. So it's, like, I don't know how to describe, how would you describe, like, stinky septum? Mm. Mm. It's, like, not as, like, gross as, like, foot smell. Or but even, it's, like, stretched ear smell. Yeah, like, it's not, like, a foot smell, but it's definitely, like, a weird flesh smell. Like, yeah. Like, it's definitely me. It's definitely, like, an odor from myself, so my brain isn't, like, repulsed by it, but it's still stinky. No, it doesn't smell like pussy. It smells like, um... I can't really compare it to anything. It's such a... 
specific sting, yeah. smell. It's... It, it, like, the only thing I can really think of is, like, it smells like foot, but not foot. Like... Yeah. Like, it's... Like, maybe, like, steamy shoe? Probably closer to that. Yeah. No, not, like, tonsil stones. I don't have tonsils, so I don't know I what that is. Just, you're so lucky. You're the person who taught me what they were, because I was like, I don't know what that is. Like, I don't fucking know. Fucking tonsil stones are the most disgusting thing in the fucking world. I want my tonsils out so bad. Ugh. Like, toe jam? No, not, like, no, not as pungent as, like, toe anything, like, foot anything. Yeah, it's not even, like, a strong smell. It's just that, like, you can smell it, so you're, like, bothered. But it's, like, if I don't touch it, I don't really smell it. But, like, the more I move it, the more I can smell it, and I can't, like, not move it. Like, it's, you said, like, pumpkin seeds? I don't know what pumpkin seeds smell like enough. I mean, especially when it's in your nose, you can't not smell it. Sometimes my filter room smells like that. Yeah, you said that you, like, had to wear a mask the one time and it, like, smelled. Yeah, I could, like, smell my filter room. People think that, like, piercings and, like, and, like, tattoos are, like, I don't know. Like, people, like, talk shit on pe people with, like, piercings and tattoos, but, like, motherfuckers really be out here, like, putting up with shit mm -hmm. to have it. Like, y'all don't even understand the, like, stubbornness and dedication you need to have. <laughs> I can't think of how many piercings I've taken out in my life. I think I've easily had over a hundred piercings. Rook? What's which one's the rook? It's like uh like through this mm. little ridge right there. I had that before. But that shit never healed. I like conch ones. I'd like to get a hoop in mine. I like them a lot. I think industrial bars are cool, but I don't think anyone ever has them successfully. I fucking pierced my own with a dull ass embroidery needle when I was like 16. And that shit lasted forever. Like, I took that out when I was like 25. I am so concerned about you. <laughs> A dull embroidery needle. Like, one of those ones that's, like, thick. Because I was like, it has to be thick. Because I gotta be able to put, like, the thicker bar in. But it, like, wasn't sharp. Because it was thick. It was, like, a cross-stitch needle. Um, Which one's the helix? That's just, like, any cartilage mm. I just am such a side sleeper. That, like, the thought of healing it just sounds fucking miserable. Yeah. When I used to have all my ear piercings in, I used to um, just, like, fold up the pillow and, like, lay with my head, mm -hmm. like, not actually on the pillow. Um, thanks for the hydrate, Kluge. I don't know if Decode's on this play. It's a, like, pre-made playlist from Spotify. I don't know if D. I don't really listen to Decode. I'm, like, bitter about the whole, like, brand new eyes era. Like, I was, like, that was, like... When Twilight, like, stopped being cool for me, and I was, like, 13, and, like, or, like, what, 14, like, in high school, and I was, like, ugh, Twilight isn't cool anymore, because I don't want to get made fun of by older people, and then, like, Brand New Eyes came out, and I was, like, ugh, none of these people actually listen to Paramore, and I was, like, you know, just angsty and stupid. My first rook was on my right, and I forgot I sleep on my right side. That sounds like hell for me. I'd be so sad. 
I want new piercings. I should wear them. Okay, who here is going to TwitchCon? <laughs> It'll be Skull's first TwitchCon! It will be my first TwitchCon. I'm always on tour. You didn't get to come to TwitchCon when I had a booth. Sad face. I know, we would have, like, had so much fun. I uh, Inviting myself to your hypothetical booth. Hanging out behind it. <laughs> I would have put you... To fucking work. And I would have loved it. I love working conventions. It's in October. Like October 7th through the 9th, I believe. Something like that. I don't know if I like this. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, San Diego. Stat from Queen of the Damned where Bella is a newborn. I don't know enough about the interview with the vampire world to like say. I know more about Twilight, sadly. <laughs> she said sadly. No, this is Tillian, but it's the new dance, Kevin Dance. I have shame. Sorry for subjecting you. My Spotify playlist is like, bitch, you like Dance Gavin Dance. And I'm like, wow, you are really clearly not caught up on the news. <laughs> was that a tweet that was like, uh, nobody hates Dance Gavin Dance more than Dance Gavin Dance fans? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Tillian got kicked out. Um, the... April, the bassist died. I was, like, friends with him, so that was, like, not fun for me. And then, like, was like, okay, my favorite band, and the bassist died, and this is really fucking sad. And then, like, literally, what, like, a month later, um... Uh, shit about Tillian came out, where he, like sexually abuse someone so this is the singer Tillian and because the basses died they decided like they had already recorded all of their album when all that shit happened so when the basses died the album was already done so they were like we're gonna like have the album come out because it's the last album with Tim and then like the Tillian shit came out and they were like well we're still gonna have the album come out because it's the last album with Tim but then the like the singer got kicked out. So it's like conflicting because it's the last album with the bassist that is no longer here. And then like the singer, like, I don't want to support the singer, but it's really sad that Tim is, it's, it's a thing. It's, it's a thing. It, it's very, I, it's been very hard being a dance, Gavin dance fan. Very hard being a dance, Gavin dance fan. Um, I hate it here. <laughs> They've been, like, my favorite band since I was, like, 13. So I've just been conflicted and confused and, um, yeah, it's it's been a lot. It's been a lot. I am not having a good time. <laughs> I'm like, these motherfuckers just won't, just won't go away. Like, they just will keep staying a band. It's like, damn, you guys have been through fucking what three singers now y'all are persistent <laughs> just go to bed <laughs> <laughs> they're really good live though i saw them like not that long ago and had a lot of fun because they brought back an old singer and i just love them so much but it's more of like an emotional attachment now at this point like my name's Skyhook is Skyhook because they have a song named Skyhook. Like, it's- I got- I'm emotionally attached. They got you by the throat. By the fucking throat. And I didn't get to- 
it sucks because the last time they were touring, I was in New York with Skella, and they didn't come to they didn't come to Rochester or Buffalo, but they were in Philly. And Tim like messaged me like asking where I was, and I was like. Sorry, I'm not there. Like, hopefully I'll get to see you guys, like, next time. And then, like, I was going to go to their tour, but he passed away before the tour happened. So, like, I... Sad, because I never got to see him. I haven't seen him since, like, 2017, maybe 2016. Because the last time I saw them before that was at a festival, and I think they had to leave right away. So I didn't get to see him at the festival either. So, I don't know. It's, it's big sad. Who's your favorite brand, Liv? I just hope Princess the Hero hasn't had any bullshit go down during the pandemic. Um, aren't they on tour with someone? Mastodon? I feel like no one is, like, I have a Kurt Cobain tattoo, and I'm like, oof, girl, you got a man tattooed on you. Yeah, but you gotta wait till they die, and then you're like, alright, they can't do anything else. I mean, you don't know that. People just could not come forward. You never know. No one's safe. That's true. 20-year-old me did not know the horrors of men as well as I know them now. Like, oof. And I got another Nirvana tattoo, but it's, it's not a portrait of Kurt this time, so. <laughs> I'm surprised that, like, no one in the used has ever been, like, outed for anything. That you know of. I mean, at least not, like, publicly. That you know of. <laughs> I feel like I would hear about that. That you know of. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, bitch, maybe you have. <laughs> I don't know. We got bad brains. We <laughs> could conveniently forget things. Don't go looking it up. Kurt was an egg. What? What does that mean? Egg. This song's about her, like, rapist. This is... We ain't in the mood for that, Amy Lee. Sorry. It's getting too real out here right now. Still defend that Kurt was an egg? A closeted trans. I have never heard that term before. I mean, he definitely was, like, femme and, uh, very vocal about, like, gay... And femi- like, gay rights and, like, feminism and shit. That's why he felt safe to 18-year-old me. Because I was like, wow. That's such a big deal. Because even, like, men at that time weren't even, like, fucking, like, vocally like that. I don't know. I've invasively read all his journals and shit. Maybe if I read them now it would be different, but... I'm like, damn, they're, they really put out, like, his fucking journals. Like, they really, like, did not let that man rest at all. I don't like how it's, like, all in lines. I gotta, like, make it more organic shape. Do I not have a good vibe from James Dean because he's just a older white man? James Dean, the porn star? Oh, no, the OG no. James Dean. I was like, he's been outed for shit. No, they said as a bisexual about James Dean. I don't know anything about the original one. I just know there's a creepy statue of his head in Griffith Park. About Kurt Heatseal? I literally 
have this man tattooed on my arm. I, I can't judge anyone for anything. It's a good tattoo. It definitely needs to be touched up. How old were you when you got that? Mm, maybe like 21? 20? 21? Portrait tattoos are just so commonly bad. <laughs> Well, I purposely was, like, okay with it because, like, he had the glasses. So I was like, okay, that's less of a, like, you have to get his likeness. And that's, like, one of my favorite photo shoots. So the only place I've ever, like, had someone be like, is that a Kurt tattoo? Is that a Foo Fighters concert? Mm. Usually no one says anything. Not that I really wear, like, short sleeve or, like, shit that you can see it now. But when I was younger, I definitely wore more tank tops and shit. And the only place anyone's ever been like, whoa, it's cool, is a Foo Fighters concert. And I feel like that's not even, that doesn't even count. Yeah, I can't believe that they had, that the Nirvana baby did. But also, like, how much of that is their parents? I didn't really look into that. I don't know. I think his name's Spencer. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that, like, their parents signed a bunch of consent shit. Am I even making progress on this? Like, what, the, what is even happening right now? I think it's similar to the I didn't consent to be born argument. Fair. I feel like that's just something where, like, if you didn't tell anyone, no one would know that was you. Not that that, like, makes any different, but I just thought, like, that was always, like, my, like, ah, Chaz, thank you so much for the raid. Hello, hello. Hi. I'm currently working on a big bison cutout. Hello, hello. Hi, Rue. What's up? How dare you make me exist? I did not fucking consent to being born. That shit is BS. How you doing? How was your stream? Um, I worked on this earlier as doggers and um i painted a plank i made a real life plank and um oh did my phone really die oh my phone died whoops yeah i'm gonna go pee come say hello to people okay Need food and stuff? No, go get your food. Go get your food. I'm good. We are working on this like wood cutout that I uh have been trying to paint, but I don't really. This fur is really kicking my ass. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pee right back though. I'm leaving you guys with Skeller. She gonna entertain y'all. Oh fuck. You good? Yeah, I'm not gonna die. Wait, where the headphones go? Oh, they're right here. Hi guys, I'm Skeller. Now I can hear the music. I've been sitting over there in silence, not hearing any music. I am, I'm feeling a lot better, a lot better. Oh shit, did anyone just see which one of these is mine? Oh shit. Probably this one, this one's gold. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. I woke up today and I was like, okay, I think we're good. The one, the one with the finger for, oh, no. Yeah, okay. This is the 
warm one and this one's cold and she's had her since before stream i'm gonna drink this one i also kiss her on the mouth so i'm not sure it really matters but i don't wanna drink her drink she does not drink at all y'all need to be using hydrate more oh this did a thing did i fix it ah! I don't know what I did. Oh, okay, I made it work again. Nope, ruined it. Press what button? Uh, I don't know what that button is. The one closest to the... Oh, yeah. No, this one's mine. Right? Mine? It has to be this one. Yes. Okay. I don't know what button to push to make this work. I don't see a button that looks like that thing. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. Yeah. No, it just, like, goes to sleep. I was hoping there was like a Sharpie or something. There's Prismas. Hi, everybody. Yeah, I have one for my stream that I tried to set up with the Elgato and I could not figure it out. It was like a Sony A7. I set up a whole, like, got a PC, set it up set up multiple cameras, doing the everything to like stream my glass because I make stained glass. And then I just never did. And then I fucked off to Philly and haven't been home. She did say Flyleaf was going to be on this album. Hi, Hugo. Sam's going to, to do pee. So, I sat in. Yeah, I'm in Philly. Reaping what I sow. I think we have to go back to where I live, like, next week or something. But now that I actually have, like, a PC and a stream set up, I'm going to try to make Sam keep streaming more. No, my dog's at home. I have four pets. I have two cats and two dogs. Um, so when I'm out of town, my ex stays in my house and watches the pets. Which I'm trying to find a different solution for. I think there needs to be a different solution for when I'm out of town. Um, Flyleaf is playing. Mm-hmm. It's a very emo playlist that Spotify made. I set this here and then I was like, fuck. But I think mine's colder. It is. Also, mine is... I haven't really drank a lot. Yeah, you need to drink more. I got my water. I woke up this morning and I peed and it was such a bad pee. It was like very dehydrated pee. That's good. Well, you slept for a while. I did. Even though we went to bed pretty late, but you still slept for a while. I think I slept from like four to four. Thanks for thanks for the follow, Jaden. Why JK Hugo, if you fly in, if you want to move to Rochester, you can live in my house for free. You can watch my pets live there for free. Every time I leave town, you handle the pets. Anytime I'm there, we vibe in. I literally like tried to find a roommate. Like I Do it. I was like, I need a roommate in my cool gay rainbow house. It has to be somebody that likes dogs. Um, but you can live there for, like, really cheap rent, and then anytime I'm out of town, you don't pay rent, you just take care of my animals, and I got, like, a couple people that hit me up, and every time they find out, like, I live in the suburbs, they're like, no. So, like, I literally can't get anyone to, like, live in my house for free. <laughs> they would rather go skydiving. <laughs> Are you gonna yell at me if we live together? Yes. yes. 
Yes. <laughs> yes. No, I think I'm a, I think I'm a fine person to live with. I'm really like chill. I'm not very messy. But also like, you know, things break and I'm like like I'm a pretty chill person. I don't know. Do you, Do they think you have a secret basement? No, I have a very cute basement. I think they mean they don't want to live with you because they think you're creepy. Oh. Why don't you fuck me, Hugo? <laughs> I forgot about that. Mm-hmm. Why don't you fuck me, then, Hugo? <laughs> I don't know why I said that. It's because you guys were competing for how sad your sex lives are. Oh. And Hugo said that you're wrong. Oh, well, now my sex life is even sadder. So I win now. I would never make anyone have sex with me. That makes me sound so bad. What's it? I like this lighting. I feel cute. You are cute. I want this light to follow me around. It's many lights, but yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm just looking at that one. Yay, oh. tragic sex lives. Yeah. I don't know why it's flickering like that. I don't like that. Should be willing to live in my house or willing to have sex with me. Because right now it's neither. Wait till you get older. It's fun to look at and then you smell someone making coffee. What? I don't know. What did you talk about, BC? I don't know. I didn't see that. She's a fun person to live with and likes midnight construction. Yes. That is true. I do be doing shit in the middle of the night. Do you want your seat back? Mm. No, you're entertaining. I mean, I can... Yeah. So... You have a hair in your septum ring. I think it's Conan's. <laughs> we switch seats, but I'll put the camera on you. You can still entertain the masses. No, you're on... You're on... No, you're on streamer duty now. Wait, will it look like I'm painting? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that was all according to plan. I meant to do that. Um, I feel like that's like the streamer life too. Like people be streaming all through the night. Like I liked living at the SG house because Lolana was there and she'd be streaming all night. And I like listening to other people be awake, but... If I start streaming regularly, it's going to be, like, grinding glass, which is really loud. <laughs> this is really fucking close. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you were making it chaotic. It was not, it doesn't need to be that chaotic. It was that chaotic from the start. <laughs> Well, if I put it back to where it was and it blocks, then it, my arm blocks it. Mega scala. Wow, now you can see my face scar really a lot. Your... Your... Bridge scar. This is big, um, we saw you from across the bar and like your body better. <laughs> I don't know how to find someone to live with me. I have such specific needs, but none of them are- Well, okay, that's not- I was gonna say, but none of them are money, which isn't the case, but also, like, I'm already living alone and paying rent. At least if I have somebody to help with my dogs, I can live my life. How familiar are you with glass grinding sounds, Hero? They're like horrible. It's just like high pitched and angry. Yes, I have a fenced in yard. Uh, it's like a really tall privacy fence. I have a pool. I have like a little fire table in the backyard where people can make s'mores. Smellos. Three bedrooms. 
and a basement with bunk beds. The extra bedroom is glitter, glitter wall. One wall too. is covered in glitter. One wall is covered in fur. Cool as shit. But if somebody didn't want a fur and glitter wall, then they could take the other room. I can move my streaming stuff into the glitter room. You can paint whatever fucking colors you want. With us living together, be this. Corey, I'm your chillin' being normal. I knock on your door. Hey, Skella, opens the door. I'm in full Mario costume. It's a me, Hugo. Then I walk <laughs> away and never bring it up again. Is that, like, a negative? That's the problem with us living together? So it has to be easy to take care of the dog. Sounds like a really cool place. Yeah, I mean, the, the fence in backyard is nice. They still, um like need a lot of attention because they're herding dogs and they want to like go for walks and live life but yeah I just like I don't know when I'm out of town there's like my stepbrother or my sister that I could like potentially ask to stay at my house but like they don't like dogs and the dogs like need attention and love and stuff so I don't know I need somebody that like is actually like excited about dogs I don't know, man. I can't keep having, like, my ex staying at my house. What? No, they don't like dogs. And also, they're, like, I don't know. Like, my stepbrother and my sister both are, like, a little bit, um, flaky. Selfish. Untrustworthy. Unreliable. Unreliable. It's a good summary. But dogs are an awesome part, except for hiding all your stuff really high up. Do dogs do that? Or, like, I have to do that. I do be hiding Gregory when I'm there. Yeah. Suddenly, you knock on the door again. You open the door. It's me in full Frankenfurter garb. I can help you with that. I have that. So I'm holding my cat dressed in riffraff gear. See, I would have to be like really nitpicky about uh, you misquoting Frankenfurter. It's not how do you do it. How, how do you do I? Right? You've never actually even seen the movie, have you? I have, but it like, not... It's like you and telephone, you know? Like you're aware of the imagery, but haven't... I've, like, seen scenes and stuff. I don't... I can't tell you, like, from beginning to end. And I feel like I have watched it, but I have such trauma brain that, like... It also doesn't really make sense. Like, it's kind of all over the place. Yeah. It's, like, camp to the point of not really making sense, so... Throw a big party at your house and then find out if any of them are cool enough to live with because I don't have friends or options. <laughs> like, it's not like there's a large amount of people trying to live with me and I have to select which one. <laughs> Nobody wants me or my living condition. <laughs> She's trying really hard to get me to move and I'm like, bitch, I am not moving again. Yeah. Also, we travel together, so I wouldn't solve all of the problems. No. I think we could be a perfect match. I figured it was autocorrect. I want to go to, like, one of the live viewing thingies. Someone I used to work with I know wants to move to the town where I live. Like, the suburby town. While they, like save up to buy a house but that's a couple and that's two people and they smoke a lot of weed mm. but they're on only fans so it'd be like a whole house they're both on only fans yeah they like make content together that's cool he's the one he's got a big wiener he's the one that like pulled it out in the restaurant and we were like why's your dick out and he's like everyone said to took my dick out and i was like took my dick out to take everyone told me to pull my dick out and i was like nobody did <laughs> he's that one hugo we've been best friends do you want to move to rochester 
Come on, Hugo, what the fuck? Come on, Hugo, what the fuck? Come on, Hugo. Come on, Hugo. Come on. Come on. Come on. F that new job. Come on. Come on. Come on. Tell me I'm good. Tell me I'm good. Tell me good. Say it. Say it. I did good. Tell me I'm good. <laughs> we go to drag shows together. I would say you would be taking my room, but I no longer take the guest room anymore. Yeah, we just snuggle. I just, yeah. I also could, like, move my stream set up to the basement and then not take up a room for that. It's nice to have. Two questions that help me decide. Do you do your toilet paper as a mullet or a beard? <laughs> um... It's been both at your house, but I don't know who's no, responsible. No, I do it as a beard. Um, but I need a new toilet paper holder. Because, because it, when the roll is full and it's new, it's like too, it doesn't fit yeah. in there. So you kind of have to like use it a few times and then it fits in the toilet paper holder. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't know if it's because like the house is from the 60s and toilet paper used to be smaller. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you definitely use bigger ply toilet paper than was probably used prior. True. I use good toilet paper. I I use good toilet paper. Um, I do not play Dungeons and Dragons, but I do live near that really big run fair. It's like a big deal and I have been to it in high school. <laughs> I suppose that you went to it without me? It was a long time ago. Skill isn't really fantasy driven. Not very fantasy driven, but also like down for anything. Like, I'm, I'm not going to be the bitch that's like, let's go to the run fair. But if somebody's like, let's go to the run fair, I'm like, yeah. We like dress up. How does it not fit? Because it's like in the wall. And then there's the little thing. It's like the indent is in the wall. It's also because the toilet paper is like wider than like the the stick to wall ratio. Yeah. So you can like, like put it in, but then you can't like pull it because it's too tight stuffed to it's actually tight. turn. I need to get a new one that just goes on the wall. I found one. At that was too <laughs> long. It was a gun. It was a gun. <laughs> Lobby. Honestly, that's where you find- you would have a roommate right now if you owned that gun <laughs> toilet gun, paper holder. And the toilet paper goes where, like, the bullets go. <laughs> like, revolver. Like, I cannot. Yeah. No, I, I really want to redo the whole bathroom. We're not going to talk about the lack of wall. Yeah, we don't we don't talk about the, the little beard, the check shirt, or the missing wall in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> You have the gun? No, you don't. No. Nah. Lies. The lies being shared in the stream right now. Who is this? And he called her a simpleton because she fell for his trick. Wait, who's what? This artist. Even Evan's blue? Sounds butt rocky. There's some butt rock on here. Guns out, buns out. There was some fuel. <laughs> oh, you have a lot of fan brushes. Half ply toilet paper in the 60s. For real. That was a luxury I did not know until I no longer lived in my poor household growing up. I was like, oh, people have, like, different toilet paper that isn't, like... Because I was so used to, like, my... I guess my mom just bought, like, really cheap toilet paper because broke. And, like, I was so used to, like, having to really, like, roll a lot. So if I would go to someone else's house, I would, like, roll the same amount. And I'd be like, why like is there so much? Like... Yeah, it actually, I did the research. It's cheaper to buy the thicker ply toilet paper. I believe it. And only need some of the squares. And then it doesn't, like, rip off and stick to your coochie. Yeah. I didn't know that for a very long time. Yeah. No, I... Sorry. If 
if I can't afford the multiple ply toilet paper, I'll just use paper towels. <laughs> I Did I you just like, admit to something that I okay. I am really bougie about toilet paper. I am real I'm really bougie about toilet paper. The toilet paper I have right now is because someone else bought it for me, so I apologize, because you clearly are having a struggle. <laughs> you clearly are trying not to insult me, and I am not insulted at all, because someone bought me that pack, and I've just been vibing. <laughs> but clearly you were bothered by it, and I just want you to know that I, I, I'm not insulted. That is not my preference. I'm just out here <laughs> being broke as shit. I know, you've had good toilet paper before. Just... <laughs> You're like, what happened? What the fuck went down? When I got here, I was like, oh, man. And then I got my period, and then I was like, oh. You've been silently suffering. How many times have we gone to the grocery store? Um... Well, the other, <laughs> oh my the other day I was like, oh, I'm using so much of your toilet paper. I'm going to have to buy you new toilet paper. And you were like, oh, no, I have tons of toilet paper. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I would if that was your photo, what did you tell me? This is so much worse. This is so much worse, Skella. Oh, my God. Skella. Skella. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. I... <laughs> I'm embarrassed about my level of toilet paper <laughs> classism. <laughs> like when you're out with friends, you're like, oh, let's get food. And they're like, no, we have food at home. And you're like, fuck, I don't even want that answer at all. Like, I was just like, I'm, in my head, I'm just like, you don't have you don't have to worry. Like, I got some. Like, it's expensive. I get it. Now I'm like, wow, I'm out here making this bitch fucking use sandpaper to wipe her coochie. She's clearly in a crisis. It's not even, like, if it was sandpaper, it would be better. Take the skin right off my coochie. That's fine. Just don't leave the toilet paper behind. Behind? Yeah, and, like. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We can get, we can get toilet paper. Don't worry. We can, we can get toilet paper. I had, I had that issue, um. Like, when there was no toilet paper in the stores, my mom always has, like, packs and packs and packs of toilet paper. She buys them, like, in bulk at BJ's, and she had one of, like, the cheap toilet paper, and so, like, she was just giving that to me during the, during the lockdown, and I was having to suffer the residue! The residue. I don't believe in flushable wipes. I feel like, yeah, that's a lie. I used to be real big, like, yeah, wipes. And now I'm like, there's no way that's good for plumbing. There's no fucking way. Like, I, like, my parents' house has septic. And, like, me, I flush it, and that shit, I think, goes to the river. I don't know. It goes away. It doesn't stay in my house. So, I feel a little differently. But also, now I, like, live in, like, a house I own, and I have to pay for things if they break. I don't know. I also lived on a bus for a really long time where you can't flush anything other than liquid. So, like, you wipe and you throw it away. So, like, flushable... I'll just throw that shit in the trash. I don't know. Coming home from tour, I would, like, wipe and throw it away, and then I'm like, wait, I don't have to do that anymore. But it's such a habit that you have to break. I throw them in the trash. I love the clean feeling on my butt. Yeah. I like using the wipes when I have my period. It makes me feel nice and clean again. You never flush the wipe. It goes to a guy with a rake phone 